Hey creative, what's up? It's your girl Jamila and welcome back to my lab toy. So I recently got this comment on one of my older YouTube videos and with Canvas update, everything looks different. So today I'm going to give you the updated way on how you can easily create t-shirt mock-ups for your custom apparel business. I'll have everything I use listed in the description box below. And if you like this video, you learned something new, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and make sure that bell notification's on so you don't miss any of my upcoming craft tutorials. Hey creative, so Canva has updated and things are looking totally different. So let's go ahead and dive into how we can give our customers a mock-up of an all-over sublimation shirt. So there's a couple of ways to do this. One way, and since we're just I'm just showing you for the purpose of this design. I mean, honestly, it doesn't really matter what size design we're doing. So I'm just going to go ahead and click this, right? And of course, I'll have a free 30-day Canva Pro trial for you in the description box of this video. If you want to go ahead and give Canva a try um, after watching this, right? So one way we can go ahead and create mock-ups is just to go ahead and upload a a jpeg or a png just some kind of image type file right so you'll just go ahead and upload that into your screen then you can click on the photo hit edit photo and with canvas new update this is now what your edit photo screen um, normally looks like and you can scroll down where it says apps and hit mock-ups and it'll give you a few different options right so since we're doing apparel we're going to go ahead and scroll down so we see the apparel category and hit see all now the squares on these shirts basically tell you how big your design can be right so if you scroll all the way to the bottom you see this uh, frame right here how it's like you know basically covers everything except the sleeves that lets you know that you can fill your design that big but you see right here on this hoodie how it's just this little square right here that's as big as your design is going to be right same thing for the back and all the other ones so depending on you know what kind of design you're doing will depend on what kind of frame you're using so if I was doing like an all over shirt design and I wanted to send a mock up to my customer, I would choose this one. So you just go ahead and uh, click it. It'll pop up on your, it'll pop up right here. And then you just go ahead and drag your image, hover it over it and release your mouse. And it'll go ahead and automatically drop in there and upload. Then you can click on the shirt again and you see now we have some different options where we can go ahead and edit this So of course I want it to be a full design So I would hit fill and you see it changes this like that But from here, this is the only editing we can do right now If you want to like, you know put this on like a colored shirt or have the sleeves a different color or whatnot We're not able to change that right here from the screen so for me, what I found is that, um, so smart mockups in Canva are actually working together, right? So smart mockups is actually a website on its own. And so we're just going to bypass this whole thing right here and go ahead to smartmockups.com. And this is what the home screen looks like. So right off the bat, um, I'm not signed in. I don't have an account or anything, right? But I know there is a way that you can integrate your Canva account into Smart Mockups. But I think maybe because I've been playing around with this website a little bit earlier and I X out of it, it's not popping up for me. So maybe it'll pop up, pop up for you. But um, so anyway, so I'm just going to go ahead right here, just right off the home screen. I see two mockups I could use for an apparel design, right? So we could go ahead with this blank one right here. And I love how right here it gives you the um, style t-shirt that it is, right? Awesome. So we'll just go ahead and right here where it says t-shirt and upload from. I'm going, you can either upload from Canva or you can upload your um, upload from your computer so I'm going to go ahead and upload from my computer and we're just going to give it a second to load and of course see there you go see how with on smart mockups when you entered the shirt it pulled the colors from the design and changed the color of the shirt that's what we wanted right like that's that's what we wanted all along but it doesn't do that when you're just doing, working with the mock-up app in Canva, which I don't know, it's weird, but you know, 
I don't know. Okay. So, um, and of course I can take it a step further and go ahead and hit this like little pencil button or whatever this is right here and edit that, um, edit my design a little bit. I can use this drop down menu, uh, make it hit, I can hit fill, which will take the design, you know, cover it, cover everything but the sleeves, which is what we wanted. Or I can use this, um, sliding scale and zoom in zoom out or whatnot and you can also move it side to side up and down you know just position it however you want it to be and once you have it however you like we'll go ahead and and of course there's some other buttons right here as well and we'll hit crop and continue and then i can even take it a step further um if you wanted to and hit customize And I can change the t-shirt color right here. And of course they have their preset um, colors. And then they also have some colors that they pulled from the shirt. Or you can even go to custom and you can enter the code for the color that you want to use as well. Right? And if you're wondering, I mean, if you're doing sublimation and you're doing like an all over shirt design, you know, they actually do sell shirts that are like blank in the middle that you can sub on with the colored sleeves. You can go to silkysoft.com and get those kind of shirts. And I actually have a tutorial for that. So I'll have the tutorial um, linked. Link, it'll pop up somewhere on the screen. And of course, I'll have it in the description box as well as a free 30 day trial for you to go ahead and try Canva Pro. Um, all that will be linked in the description box for you guys. But yeah, they actually do sell sublimation shirts like this, which just makes it a little bit easier when creating. But anyway, even if you're not doing sublimation or whatever, but you're doing a colored shirt with a design like this, here is your option. Okay. And then of course we can go ahead over here to download. Now, like I said, I'm not signed in. I don't have an account. I don't know how much this costs. I don't know anything outside of what I just showed you guys. Okay. So we can still download this as a medium quality, um, anything higher. Like I said, it looks like you need this little crown right here is the same thing that they use on Canva. So I'm pretty sure if you were to link your Canva account, you know, you probably have access to all of that. Don't quote me. Like I said, I don't know anything outside of what I just showed you guys. Okay. So we would take that um, shirt that we just downloaded. We can go back into Canva and we can just go ahead and drag and drop our design into our upload. And let's go ahead and add a new page and we will take this design. You can remove the white background if you wanted to uh, just by selecting it. Hit edit uh, background remover. It'll take that white away in case you want to put it like on a uh i don't know a blue background a pink background or a black background or you know add something from the canva elements let me see i don't know let's just type in background put it on this background i don't know you, either way you can go ahead and remove the background of that Right or and then once you have it uploaded here, you can go ahead and add your watermark. Um, for me, my watermark is usually my um, logo. Um, let me just go ahead and select this, and I kind of just make it, you know, uh, cover the whole image, and then I'll just take the transparency down. And then you could go ahead and send it to your customer. Uh, I leave the transparency like where you know it's there but you can still see what needs to be seen. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not obstructing the view. And of course you can go ahead and add another one, maybe like in a corner or something right here with the full transparency. But I just kind of like to leave my watermark in the most inconvenient places. So if somebody tries to like crop my design, you know what I'm saying? Cause listen, we all know people be stealing people. Shein. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They be stealing pictures of people working. Watermark ain't gonna stop nobody for real, for real. But sometimes maybe it'll deter them. Anyway, that's another rant for another day. But yeah, you know, so you just go ahead and do it like that. Um, download it, send it to your customer, post it on your socials, you know, do whatever it is that you want it to do with it anyway. But um, as always, guys, thanks for watching. I really hope that this video helped. Um, if you have any more qu Canva questions, let me know down in the comments. Will you be trying this? Is this too complicated?
Let me know what you think. Um, as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.